What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're here at Smith Lake. Second stop of the Major League Fishing Pro Circuits here. Smith Lake. It's the day before practice. We got a mess going on here. Got to get all this cleaned up and ready to go for practice. Dylan's got some kind of mess going on over here. I don't know what you're doing, but you got it's high tech, highly skilled level stuff going on over here. I mean, you got compartments apart and like you got the screwdriver out. It's no good. You're you're inside your compartment. I need more screwdrivers. It's no good. We got a freaking bad to the bone house here this week. Go for a little tour. Check out that dock right there. Yeah, that's ours. Beautiful view of Smith Lake. The sun is shining. It's getting warm out here. There's Brittany in there. She's trying to do some schoolwork. Yeah, look at this deck. Isn't this is unbelievable? Living large this week, you know, I'm not used to this stuff. We're gonna take a little tour of the inside. I'll show you the whole house and then I gotta get back out to the boat and get some tackle done. Get that mess ready to roll for practice. <laughs> this is where all the business gets done down here may or may not have stayed up late last night playing some ping pong we're gonna set up the camera here tonight and get a little tournament going on so you guys are coming along for that but yeah this is the house just leaving the door open dylan must be born in a barn just leaves the door wide open this morning. What the heck's up with that? Lower level of the dock. Oh man, this lake is beautiful. You know, I'm a fan of Smith Lake. I've been here a couple other times and uh, did well. You know, this is my first top 10 in my professional career I was here on Smith Lake. So how do we get out of here? There we go. Head out here and see what's going on out on the dock. You know, it's been pretty cold here in the south, so I'm not real sure what to expect for practice. Um, you know, I feel like they're ready to spawn. You know, those days are getting longer and the sun's getting warm, so those those fish are ready, ready to spawn. Um, they're just waiting on it to warm up a little bit. So it's been so cold. I think they're, they've held off. I don't think there's gonna be any spawning activity going on yet, but I think it's gonna be close. And, and we got some decent weather this week, so it could be pretty good. Kind of excited. So I'm heading back to the boat. It's a pretty nice little dock down here. The water looks good, it's clear. Just how I like it. I'm gonna go get some tackle rigged up. And we'll see you guys later for some ping pong. all cleaned up there's the starting lineup for this week a 
A lot of rods. Hopefully I can find one that catches them this week. Got to narrow it down for sure before Derby Day. Well, we just got through with some dinner. You know I can't stay away from this ping pong table. Just, just addicted to it, hooked on it. So it's time for a little, little pong. Well, good morning. Day number one of practice here on Smith Lake. A little cold this morning. See that? I think it's 30 degrees. A little foggy out there. Ooh, ready to get out on the lake. Let's see if we can find some big spotted bass here today. get this boat in the water. There's the first bass of practice. So a big key this week is these suckers have to be 15 inches long. That's going to be trouble. 
That one there is only 14 inches, so we're gonna have to target bigger ones. That might even be a keeper. And it's a large one. It's the wrong kind. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Nope. Close. 14 and 3 quarter. Maybe it's a clue? I'll fish for a large mouth if I have to. That one's a little better. That's more what we're looking for, but they're still large. Can't find them spots, but that's a good one. This is the way to do it here. No 40 minute drive to the boat ramp. No waiting in line, none of that. We walk out to the boat, hop in, and it's go time.
what a beautiful morning here. Hoping the fish agree. Hopefully they bite a little better for me today. You know, day one of practice was a struggle. It was a struggle. I never caught a keeper spotted bass, that's for sure. Caught a few large mouth, but that's not really what I want to do, but that's what I got to do. That's what I got to do. Today we got to narrow it down a little bit and we got to figure something out. Got to. Let's go do it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Practice is winding down on us here. Got about an hour left. Today's been much better. Much better than yesterday. Hopefully, we figured a little something out. I don't know, it's, it's still kind of random. Like, I don't know where I'm gonna get my next bite. I don't have one spot where I can go to and catch a few. But I feel like if I jump around enough, I, I might, maybe. Yeah, we'll catch it up. We'll see. Come Thursday. Got another hour. We're going to check a few more things on the way back down and uh, check in with you guys then. Today's winding down here. I pulled in. This is a spot where I, I made a top 10 in 2018, the last time we were here, and they are just blowing up everywhere. I don't know why I waited till the last half hour of practice to come check it. But that one's not a keeper, but there's some big ones around. Now I'm even more confused. Well, that's a wrap on practice. We got our off day here. I gotta get all these rods cleaned up, rigged up, organized a little bit. I'm definitely gonna simplify things and uh, just keep it simple with a couple swim baits, some saucy swimmers, a couple drop shots, a couple jerk baits, and just see what happens. But of course, you know I'm gonna rig up a bunch of the maybes. What if this happens? What if that happens? So. Got a lot of work to do here, but appreciate you guys watching this video. Leave me any likes and comments down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.